Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you with OCS Lewis structure. It is a chemical formula for carbonyl sulphide and to determine its Lewis structure we will first look at the total number of valence electrons. Here we have one oxygen atom which has 6 valence electrons, a carbon atom which has 4 valence electrons and a sulphur atom which has 6 valence electrons in its outer shell. So in total we have 16 valence electrons for this molecule. Here we will place carbon atom in the center because it is the least electronegative atom over here and both oxygen and sulfur will be arranged around it. You could actually use this chemical formula of OCS to determine the arrangement of atoms as it would be really easy for you. So once you have done this arrangement you can place a pair of electrons between oxygen and carbon and carbon and sulfur to show bonds. Doing that we will be using up 4 valence electrons out of 16 and we are now left with 12 more. If you uh, see here closely, both oxygen and sulfur atoms require 6 valence electrons each to have a complete octet. So we will be placing 6 valence electrons around oxygen atom and 6 valence electrons around sulfur atom. Doing that we will have complete octets for both oxygen and sulfur atom but this carbon atom has an incomplete octet because it just has 4 valence electrons in its outer shell. So we will help this carbon atom have a complete octet by shifting a pair of electrons from both oxygen and sulfur atom. So let's do it for oxygen atom first. I am going to shift this pair of electron in between oxygen and carbon and I will repeat the same for sulfur atom as well. And now even carbon has complete octet and all the atoms in this molecule have complete octet that means having 8 valence electrons in its outer shell and hence this is the Lewis structure of carbonyl sulfide in which carbon atom forms two double bonds one with oxygen atom and the other one with sulfur atom. For more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.